We spoke yesterday uh, in part, and we've been... Scott Pruitt, who has been named the uh, and confirmed as the uh, EPA chief administrator, was a guy who came from Oklahoma who was so in bed with the oil and fracking industry that the head of an oil fracking uh, outfit, a guy named uh, Ham, I think it's Harold Ham, was his 2014 re-elect co-chair uh, as Oklahoma AG. And this guy has, I think, still 14 pending suits against the EPA to prevent the EPA from doing its work. We talked yesterday about how the uh, Office of uh, Science in the EPA has removed the word science from their website, but more importantly, has changed the mission of the EPA from protecting our environment to attempting to protect our environment, but making sure we don't cost corporations any money. That's the fundamental change that has happened with the EPA. Here he is on Squawk Box, and, and frankly, the whole interview with the Squawk Box thing was just nauseating from the uh, whoever that dude is that hosts Squawk Box throughout the entire, yeah, whoever that guy is. He's just horrible. And this is CNBC where all they care about is how quickly, how fast, how fundamentally will you be rolling back all of these things um, that the EPA does. And, and Pruitt um, basically very calmly says, well, we're going to be methodical about it. But here he is. I um, believe that. Here he <laughs> is, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency, talking about what is not the primary contributor to global warming. And here's a hint. He's not going to say man. Well, so, let me ask you one oh, other thing, just, just to get to the nitty-gritty. Do you believe that it's been proven that CO2 is the primary control knob for climate? Do you believe that? No, I, no, I think that, that measuring with precision uh, human activity on the climate is something very challenging to do, and there's tre tremendous disagreement about the, the degree of impact. Uh, so, so, no, I would not agree uh, that it's a primary contributor uh, to, the, to the global warming that we see. Okay. All right, but we don't know that yet. As far as we, we need, to, we need to continue the debate and to continue the review and the analysis. It's 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 a. I agree. When I hear the science is settled, it's like I've, I never heard that science actually gotten to a point where it was. So that's that's the whole point of science is that uh, you keep asking questions, you keep asking questions. But I don't want to be called a denier. So uh, you know, it scares me. It's, it's a terrible thing to be called. Anyway, Administrator Pruitt, I know you don't want to be called that either. Um, Thanks for being with us this morning. I appreciate it. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Do they need that, a safe space? Can, can we go back? Can we go back to this? And I want you to watch this again. Do because, they need a safe space? Yeah. I, no, this is this is a really. I mean, is he asking if CO two or man made CO two? Like they're so lost in this conversation. This is the guy who is the head of the Environmental Protection Agency. Being, I wouldn't even say. Um, interviewed on CNBC, I would say cupped is really the only thing I could uh, I, I could express this. Uh, let's listen to this again because it, it bears repeating. This is so insane. A control knob for climate. Do you believe that? No, I no, I think that that measuring with precision. Uh, human activity on the climate is something very challenging to do, and there's tre tremendous disagreement about the, the degree of impact. Uh, so, so, no, I so, would not... Hold on, hold stop it. So he asks, is CO2 the control knob on climate? Which is just a bizarre question to ask. Um... Global warming is primarily a, a, a function of too much carbon dioxide. Pruitt assumes he, he means man-made creation of CO2. 
I think. And I think like Pruitt gets thrown off, like, oh, this isn't um, this isn't the the way you're supposed to ask this question. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. No, I think because there's the sort of that's the the pseudo sophisticated way of casting doubt on the science. He dropped the man made part in his question. Right. And Pruitt was like, wait, no, that's and then watch where they go with this. And then the guy basically just at the end says, hey, I'm sorry, I botched the question. But the bottom line is neither one of us are deniers. Right. Also, just look at where Pruitt happens to be. Where is that? Is he in in Houston? In it. I would imagine he's he is at like some type an of like an energy summit. summit. Yeah. yeah. So, so no, I would not agree uh, that it's a primary contributor uh, to the to the global warming that we see. Okay. All right, but we man. don't know that yet. As far as we, we need to, we need to continue the debate and continue the review and the analysis. I pause it. So he says. So despite the the question he was asked, which is is CO two uh, the primary knob of uh, global climate, he he answers a different question, which is I would not agree that man-made CO2 production is a uh, is the primary cause of global warming. And then he says, but we don't know that. So he knows it enough to disagree with it, but he doesn't know it enough to not, I mean, this is, you know, I don't even know, like better. on some level, I feel like, you know, like why do we even break it down this much? There are, they're liars. They don't care. That's the bottom line. They don't line. have the guts to say what they believe. And they just lie. And there's two people lying to each other. And there's, I don't know, how many people watch any given CNBC show? Another 15,000 who are sitting there all just nodding each other. It's like, oh, good. We're all lying with each other. As long as we're on the same page. You keep going. It's, 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 it's a... I agree. When I hear the science is settled, it's like I've, I never heard that science actually gotten to a point where it was. So that's, that's the whole point of science is that uh, you keep asking questions, you keep asking questions. But I don't want to be called a denier. So, uh, you know, it scares me. It's, it's a terrible thing to be called. Anyway, Administrator Pruitt, I know you don't want to be called that either. Um, thanks for being with us this morning. I appreciate it. Thank, thank, thank you very much. And then let's just cut, <laughs> cut away. Like they can't cut away from that segment quick enough, so that they end up uh, landing on a, on another uh, co-anchor. Just sort it's of just, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's fucking intellectual exploration. Am I right, Scott? I don't like to be called close by. That, that this. was just unbelievable. These guys. I, I, but that I is, an, like that is an amazing but, uh, tick of CNBC. these people, right? That they like. They they do have their weird, bizarre own desire for their own like safe spaces. Oh yeah, that's no. like that's. Let the, me make it clear how aggrieved I am yeah. that I can actually um, I make a, my whatever it is half a million to a million dollars a year. To, who knows how much that guy gets paid? But then I have to actually go outside and have some people say that. I'm just gonna climate. like and also just have complete disregard. I'm for, not a climate denier. I'm a science. Inquisition promoter. You would need to use slightly smaller words, but I like the direction. I'm a science asking questioner promoter. The great thing about oh, science, science asking question promoter. Let's book you on the Rubin Report. Thank you. <laughs> the great thing about science is you never have to draw any conclusions about anything. Right. I even Tom Carper, who is like the quintessential problem with Democrats. I just tweeted at you, Matt. He actually quote tweeted that clip and wrote, I think 97% of the world's scientists were surprised to learn this today. Hey folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.